We all know the patterns on dresses and ties are social signals, messages. But what is the basis of this intuition? What are the real meanings? And optics are patterns we see in our mind, in our mind's eye, and they correspond to the different brain areas in modern parlance, but actually to the ten dimensions. But we needn't worry our pretty little heads about that. Now we must just deal with the fashion, the patterns and the mixed messages. Now the first entoptic, the circle with the central dot, there is a cower entoptic. There is a breast, the circle with the central point, which is the di zero dimension, the point. It is a point. And as we move in and out of focus, so we get a point surrounded by a circle which is the signal entoptic, the signal that we follow, the point that we're focusing on. And this pattern is in the polka dots. The polka dots, the polka dot ties, the polka dot the bikini, the polka dot dress. And this is the pattern, the polka dot is essentially a breast. It's essentially attracting attention it is essentially the imagination. It is essentially trancing us out, blissing us out into that childish newborn of seeing the breast, the promise of food. So, very seductive, very hypnotic, maybe deceptive. The polka dot, the polka dot, those points. The imagination. So someone wearing a polka dot tie may be trying to deceive or maybe trying to wing it and just be imaginative and response, but trying to hypnotize, trying to trance you out. Just the same as the sun uses a breast on page three to indoctrinate with the political line coming from the palace on page two. So, the polka dot is essentially, you know, the, the childish, the group, the group thing, conformity, but at the same time wanting to impress and to attract attention. This is the polka dot. When that point moves, we get a line, the number one. In the Antarctics, this is actually a tunnel. You know, we feel like we're moving down a tunnel or moving through space, moving through time, moving forwards, moving in the line of ideas, of logic, of sustained reasoning, moving in the line of our ancestors, our mothers and fathers and their lives, and our continuing life. So the stripes, number one is a lines, which is stripes, and stripes basically are the sign of the perfectionist. The zero is a sign of somebody who's group orientated, in the collective experience, wanting to attract attention at that level. Someone into the group think, the group mind. Number one is the perfectionist. The one who follows the path, who sticks to the line, follows the line, toes the line, keeps the right side of the line, the perfectionist the straight, the one following the, 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 you know, the, the traditional, the conservative, hence the pinstripes, the lines, the perfectionist, but also creative, you know, we've got to move forwards, you know, move forwards, that intent to move forwards and to solve problems. So very determined, strong intent, the stripes. 
Then we come on to the two. The two is essentially a bust, the head and the shoulders. It's a face. And it's actually like the little black dress. For the men it could just be what we call the black tie. But the black is essentially the empath, the mother, the one who cares. So it's a mother figure trying to use her maternal mothering instincts to seduce with her little black dress. You can pour your feelings into me. I'm a black hole, empty, ready to absorb you. I need you. I have no thought of myself. I'm ready for you. I care. I understand. I understand you. I will be your sister. Your sister. I will help you. This is the meaning of a black dress. The two. The faces. So we could see faces as well on a pattern. If you see a, a tie with faces on, it's the same thing about being understanding. I understand. I'm your equal. I'm your mother. We come on to the three. A three is really an ohm sign. The three. And it's a wave seen at the cross section, a surging wave. These are waves. So you get dresses and ties with wavy lines on. Or it can be concentric circles. Concentric circles. You know, like a target. And the, the three is basically the home sign, and home is basically home. So it's basically, basically the, the diplomat. This is associated with a sense of smell. Someone who's flexible, who's diplomatic, who's tactful, who's discreet, who's flexible, who's fluid, who will make you feel at home. This is the wave you form the waves, any wavy lines, homely, homemaker, calming, soothing, everything back in its place at home, feeling at one with everything, at peace with everything, not being disturbed, someone who's diplomatic, tactful, not somebody who knows you. This is the wave lines. Then we come on to the rectangles. Now, the, the, the entoptic, that four, is actually a clock, the hands of a clock. The entoptic is the checkerboard entoptic, the checkerboard, or we would say the chessboard, or the, you know, the winner's flag on the Grand Prix, the black and white squares, rectangles, squares, but also a crisscross pattern like you get on tartans, the squares with the crossing lines at right angles. This is the meaning of the, of the four, the time, rigid, controlling, you know, control freak, an officer, someone wants to command, somebody wants to control the time, someone wants to see things, you know, done at the right time, in the right order, according to the ritual, the way we do it. This is the control freak. It's somebody who's trying to keep order and discipline, keep things running smoothly. But this is the meaning of those squares and those rectangles. Military discipline, regularity, regularity done with a rhythm, done with a life. Not just a negative, but a, but a positive vitality to harmonize with the time and be creative and constructive and get on with the work rhythmically, enjoy it, get on with it and do a, a good job. Be patient. Patience perfects the work. This is the meaning, the mixed meanings of the rectangles, the squares. And we come on to the five. The five is an eye. So it's actually the, that's an eye, eyebrow and an eye. 
and is the observer. So there we have the stars and the rays, the, the radiating lines, the rays that we get when I screw up our eyes, or the stars, seeing stars. The stars is a sign of heart harmony, of art. But somebody who's all, you know, all, all heart, who's the observe, an observer, who is watching, you know, who is choosing, who is selective. You know, they were putting the stars on them, but they putting the star quality on the on the others to attract that attention. Obviously, there's mixed messages, so there could be a drama queen. It could be someone who's self-centered. It could be somebody who's depressed, who's thwarted, who's trying to get the ball rolling, to try and attract attention, some opportunity. This is the meaning of the stars. I want to be a star. You know, I want to be in control. I want to move forwards. So it can be, as I say, the negative, the depression and the isolation of the star. So there's always this contradiction, this yin-yang. Then we get into the sixth dimension. The sixth is an anti-clockwise spiral. It's an anti-clockwise spiral, a widdershin spiral, or it can just be flowers. Flowers. This is, is the emotional one, the sign of the touch, the gentleman, somebody who's gentle, who's careful, you know, the gardener, but also somebody who's maybe a shopaholic, somebody who's planning and making decisions, you know, months, you know, planning and making decisions, shopping, selecting, you know, picking and choosing, you know, what to wear, what to eat. This is the meaning of the flowers, you know, the, the could be a high maintenance shopaholic. So be careful. It could be someone who's sensitive, you know, wants to, you know, the, the, the values of nature, not the material things. There's a question of choices and decisions and planning, but also feeling maybe under emotional pressure. This is the anti-clockwise spirals or, or the flowers. So like if someone's under emotional pressure, say at a wedding or at a funeral, then we send the flowers to take off that emotional pressure, to be gentle. This is the six. The seven is a zigzag, the corner of an object. An object is a, pr that's the pressure. This is the pressure map. The fixed pressure map is the object, that zigzag, that corner, that object. This is identified by taste, the thinker. Somebody knows the taste, who's got taste. This is the catalogue. This is the shopaholic, but this is the catalogue. This is the one who knows all the items. The zigzag is the, the, the thinker. You know, the one who can calculate the zig and zag, like count, counting the scale counting but could be very materialistic and it could have a sophisticated taste this is the zig and the zag the somebody who's counting somebody who's materialistic somebody who knows the score of the inventory you know all that's available all the all the objects then come on to the eight the flames Obviously, this seems to be rarer as used as an entropic. As a flames, it's, you know, we all know the entropic of flames. You know, the Christians use it to frighten us with hell. It's our sexuality. So it can be associated with, like, shimmering. So you could get any, any or, and purples. This is purple. Any purple shimmering. But the, any shimmering tie, you know, is, is to do with the flame. This is to do with the, the hunter. The one on a mission. Somebody on a mission, somebody on a, the hunter, you know, a seducer, you know, the chivalric knight going to rescue the maiden. But the hunter, somebody on the prowl. This is a sex, could be, as you say, a sexual predator. It can be, you know, somebody who's, you know, um, a musician. 
in the music, in the sound of, of the four. And then finally, the nine is the clockwise spirals, which again seem to be quite rare. Sometimes they're a big clockwise spiral. This is somebody who's down to earth, who's um, disciplined, you know, has got you know good posture, you know. Um, this is the actor. Somebody can jump to it. Somebody can act the part. This is somebody who gets the job done. The pattern can also be any complex interlocking pattern. This is the material world, the world that we're living in, the now. The, you know the flow. You know the real reality, the flow of things, the organisation of things. You know the what we've got now. Somebody who acts in that flow now. Somebody who's like spontaneous in that now would have that clockwise spiral. So these are social signals that we send to each other that correspond with, as I say, brain areas, or more correctly, the dimensions of our projected reality of our minds, of, of, you know, the ten dimensions of string theory, of the world, of life, of consciousness. So the patterns try to fulfill as our role with each other try to play games and one-upmanship and this sort of thing or try to find a niche and so this is the significance of these patterns and why? because they're in topics but they respond, they echo within our own nature 